The two artists I've been adapting the book with are masters of the comics genre. David van der Mullen is the co-writer, and Daniel Kazanov is the illustrator. Right from the beginning, we decided to adapt each part of the original Sapiens into a full graphic book. So, Volume 1 in the series covers the Cognitive Revolution, Volume 2 is about the Agricultural Revolution, etc. But importantly, the whole idea of turning the book into a graphic novel series was not just to have sapiens with illustrations, we wanted to radically rework the original book to add lots of new scenes and storylines to it, inject it with a lot more humor, and experiment with visual cultural references that readers will recognize and connect with. For example, Volume 1 features a reality TV show called Evolution, where different human species compete to survive over a season that lasts millions of years. In Volume 2, we explain the origin of farming through a theater play, the domestication of animals is tracked in the columns of the daily business news, and the story of urbanization is told as a travel brochure offering discount vacations in ancient Babylon and imperial China. And in both books, we have a whodunit plot where a character called Detective Lopez travels the world to investigate the biggest crimes in history, such as the extinction of the mammoth and the rise of social inequality. The creative process usually begins with thematic brainstorming and back and forth emails about the scenes in each chapter. We grapple with turning abstract ideas and theories into narratives led by fictional characters, and we consider where would be best to set the different storylines. For example, what time period and geographic location should we pick to explore the phenomenon of racism? It's a process of dramatization that is probably closer to writing a movie script than a classic book. Then David starts drafting the dialogues, I respond with my own edits and additions, and Danielle starts drawing the illustrated pages in black and white. Since David and Danielle don't speak English, we have two sets of editors coordinating the correspondence, along with a translator who ensures that our cultural references remain as universal as possible. We also have researchers and diversity consultants involved throughout the creative process to help address extremely important questions around visual representation and scientific accuracy. We are keen to keep a global perspective and to ensure that our ideas remain accessible to readers worldwide. There is lots of discussion, editing and adjusting, and the final stage is the coloring of the illustrations done by a professional colorist. It really is quite a production and a team effort, and the co-author's collaboration relies on the support of the production teams from Sapienship and Alban Michel. 